V cross V, put my hand in the direction of V, my fingers will bend towards B, uh, thumb points down, but Q is negative, so that flips it. So it's forced up. Oh, that makes sense. Or oh, the stin gun. Uh, electrons traveling that way, but stin guns more positive charges, so that way, magnetic field out, thumb points in the direction of the force. So three different ways it will be forced upwards. Can you do the second point again? Is it V cross V? So V cross B, which is coming out at us. When you're doing the work, a cross product, you put your hand in the direction of the first vector. And then you want to orient your hand so that your fingers point the quickest way towards the second vector, which is that way. So V is this way, my fingers curl towards V, which is out that way. So the cross product is downwards. But since the charge is negative, it's the opposite direction. Wait, so you did your hand like that. Like, like that. that. Fingers curl towards the magnetic field, which is coming out. Mm -hmm. Thumb points down. So the cross product of V cross B is downwards. Mm -hmm. And because it's negative, it goes up. Yes. Okay. I like taking that one. Okay, how do you do that one? Points in the direction of the electric field? Points in the direction of the positive charge. Okay. So negative charge going that way is like this, a positive charge going that way. This comes towards the magnetic, and then that's the direction that it'll go. Yeah. Okay. The fingers, magnetic field. Mm -hmm represented by more than one line. So that's where the, the three fingers come in the direction of the magnetic field, uh, thumb points in the direction of the force. Okay, so point of velocity, thumb. Point of velocity of uh, positive the charge. Fingers go to the, ele the electric field. Magnetic field. Thumb, yeah, magnetic field, and the thumb goes where it will go. Yeah, that's the direction of the force. So it's going positive J hat. Yep. Uh, I like that way, way more than the Yeah, that one makes sense. Well, the nice thing is, I'll bring it to the same place. Because also, if you do like a I hat cross K hat, that's a negative J hat. Uh, oh, yeah, and that's the fourth way. Yeah, that's probably like the one that I find the easiest. That's positive, and that's negative. And so we've got negative, and then V, which is I hat, cross V, which is K hat, I cross K. I'm going this way around is negative J and the negatives cancel. So positive J. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. I see. So four. Four will uh 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 that was a horrible sound. <laughs> I'll work on it. All right. Uh, the next one, proton traveling in the J direction into a B field in the negative I direction. So proton in J, B, and negative I. So proton is moving this way. B field is this way. Thing, right? Not same thing, but same methods. Oh yeah. And you pick one that you like. That works for you. So it's coming out. Positive K hat. Yeah. Yeah. So the the gun <coughs> it would come out. So force it would be forced outwards. Uh, magnetic field version like this. It the magnetic field for the proton opposes this magnetic field when you're on this side of it, so it's forced this way. And then J, so the positive J cross K I, no, no, no wait, J cross I. negative I, and J cross I is going to the left, so I get negative K, and then that negative sign gets a positive. Of these J times I is negative K, then the negative sign is J. Yep. Okay. Or 
j cross negative i. All right, so that's it for the two particles. Now we get into a wire, wire running along the x-axis. And then a wire running along this way. Currents running in the negative x direction. Magnetic field is in the negative j direction. So that's the current. In which direction will the wire be forced? So is the is the I are positive? Say it again. The I is negative, right? The current. The I is going in the negative x direction. So that means or we gotta go opposite. Now remember the current flows in the direction of the positive charge flow or opposite negative charge flow. Well, I get forced out of the thing. Yeah, I got K hat. Positive K hat? Yeah. Yep. And we're just negative. What is that line on the horizontal? This? Yeah. That's supposed to be the wire. Oh, okay. Sorry, for some reason I thought it was not. Then your fingers are supposed to go in the actual direction of the magnetic field. So in this case they're going down. So for the gun method that I do, finger points in the direction of the positive charge flow. These fingers point in the direction of the magnetic field. Thumb points in the direction of the force. Yeah, this, this works awesome. I love this stuff. Yeah, that's like that's like stats. And so that's your positive K, right? Yes. All right. So now we have a wire running along the x direction with current running in the negative x direction, and a second wire running parallel to the x axis with its current running in the positive x direction. So we've got the two parallel wires. It works for us. That works for some. <laughs> and currents running in lots of directions. So you're just like uh, you're making there. some public and they're like, what's what negative? What's what positive? Do <laughs> I'm going to do that. That guy. I'm trying to figure out. So both of those are the current flows? Those are the direction the current flows. If the flow, if parallel wires are running, so the currents, if the currents are in opposite directions, anti-parallel, which way will those wires be forced? Away from each other. Yes, like you mean it. Away from each other. Yeah, that was the demonstration we did in class. No, in the home method. Can we explain why again? Do you want to use the gun method? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That bottom one there will make it purple. Or not. Maybe this one will work better. Marginal. All right. <laughs> so that bottom one, the current's flowing that way. So it creates a magnetic field using the right hand rule. Thumb points in that direction. Magnetic field goes around like this. So up here, the magnetic field is going into the board. Yes, it should be. Thank you. And then down here, it's going out. So now, looking at the top wire here, I have current flowing that way. Magnetic field is flowing into the board. So the thumb points in the direction of the force on this wire is positive. Thereby, from Newton's third law, that one better be down. So you need to do it with one of the wires. Yeah, the other one would be the opposite. Okay. So if we had just used the magnetic field from the top wire, it would have had the same exact result. Yeah, because if the magnetic field from the top wire is going into the board here, the magnetic field's that way, the current's flowing that way, and so, oh, sorry, current's flowing that way. The current, the current's going that way. Magnetic field is into the board from the top wire. So it'd be like this. Force so down. Force down. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. So the bottom one goes to the left. And it goes, doesn't go down? Because the bottom one goes into the. Oh, these dots right here? Yeah. This is the magnetic field from the bottom one. 
Mm -hmm. That's it's going into the board up here and out of the board down here. Okay. The top one is into the board below it and out of the board above it. Okay. So the top is into the paper, bottom is out of the paper. It depends on where, at what point. Okay. That, uh, and also recognize that what's happening because this one has a magnetic field traveling around like that into the board down here, out of the board up here, and we can represent that with the usual stunning effects. The magnetic field outside of it is weakened because the magnetic fields are in opposite direction here, opposite directions here. The magnetic field is stronger in the middle and things get forced to, towards the weaker magnetic field. Get one more way to get to the So if, if the currents are both in the same direction, would they be attracted to Yes. Yep. yep. <clears throat> so if we're in the same direction, they go in. Or if they're in opposite directions, they go in opposite directions. Well, they're going to go in opposite directions either way. It's just a matter of, they go away from each other or towards each other. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Nice try with a shortcut there. <laughs> You're right. No shortcut. <laughs> well, the, again, the trick is knowing when you can use a shortcut and when you can't. Stun gun, man, that's cool. Stun gun. You say stun, stun or sten? Who is sten? Sten gun. Uh, I think World War II British Command. Oh, yeah, you have the magazine that floated into the side. Yeah, so and so you're holding it right here. Oh, I was going to ask about it. Play like Call of Duty 2, right? Yeah. <laughs> Call of Duty 2. Oh, gosh, I don't even know what that was. Call of Duty 2. Call of Duty 2. Steve Rich. That was the first one I was like, Call of Duty 2. I was confused when they put the 2 in there. The original COD. No. What was that? Um, that was a, I, I don't know why they stopped doing them, but they had like a like variety of them. They had an SMG with the side, and then yeah. they, and they also had a little Xbox. pistol that had a side mag. Oh, mag. Sorry, no. Okay. He first called me. Anyway, if you can get your hands on them, they're like four thousand. <laughs> if you ever find one, just go to a pawn, you look for a pawn shop. It's a pawn shop. It's a pawn so the dots are heading out right and then the X's are in? Yes. It was okay. 2005. Yeah. I originally read Ron Chess corrected me. He was right. Okay. I was three. I was I get them mixed up sometimes. Okay. Yeah, uh, apparently I do too. Interesting. All right. Then you are negatively charged because it is winter and you're not discharging into the air. You are running east at a point where the Earth's magnetic field is pointed north. What is the direction of the force on you? <laughs> well, just try lift you. Get that one more time. All right, you are negatively charged. Okay. And let's go into just a traditional. Maybe coming an electron. East, north. So you are negatively charged. Uh, you are running east, okay. and the Earth's magnetic field is north. Yeah. So we do. I'm negatively charged. So, okay, so I'm lost. I, I want to play the opposite way this time. Magnetic. Okay. And then our so forces are forced. still up. So we want to. Okay. You want the magnetic field to go in the direction of magnetic field. Yeah. Magnetic field is up. This hurts my hand this way. Yeah, oh, wait, no, we're negative. Yeah. yeah. Negative. So the fuel will be forced way. towards the ground. That way? That's the way I'm going? Yeah. That's the way, that's the way you'll be forced. Now, presumably your legs are strong enough not to be pushed over. Right? To, yeah. But you have an excuse, though, if you fall on your face. So does this add to gravity? This is negative gravity. Uh, yes, there would be the force, total force on you would be the force of gravity acting down, the magnetic force acting down, is this the whole and time? Uh, normal force acting up. But this time, does gravity encompass? No, this? this is separate from the gravitational force. Would this... Like be a, a decent amount, or was it pretty negative? Uh, it, I mean, it would be a small amount. If you're like the strongest charge ever, you're going super super fast, 
and you're positive, would you lift off the ground? Um, I, that might be an interesting problem of how fast do you need to go in order to lift off the ground. Uh, I suspect if you had that uh, enough charge on you to make to be significant, because the less charge, the faster you would have to go. So if you had, let's say, within human running speeds, if you had that much charge on you, it probably would kill you. Yeah, like it would polarize all the atoms in your body. <laughs> would you just like disintegrate? I don't know, and I hope never to find out. <laughs> Twenty years later, you find out Pound died from disintegration. It's like he did it. <laughs> a very high price. All right. What cost? Okay, that was question number one. Uh, question number two, which I labeled as too small plug and jug. A small ball with a charge of negative, and this is the actual specifics. You're going to be plugging into this formula right here. But two, a, a small ball with a charge of negative seven microcoulombs is traveling at a velocity of three i hat plus two j hat. This would be megameters per second. At a point in space, ball travels and I get the magnetic field. What's the force? So this is just a math exercise. We are still assuming a right-handed coordinate system as always. So it doesn't really need to be stated, even though I keep stating it. But we have Q, negative 7 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, V, 3i hat plus 2j hat times 10 to the 6 meters per second, and V, 4 tesla i hat minus 5 tesla uh, k hat. And so this comes down to, do you know how to do cross multiplication? Oops. The plug and chug, so it would be negative seven. Well, that negative six and that six will cancel out, so I'm just gonna draw them. Negative seven times three i hat plus two j hat. Now cross four i hat minus five k hat. That's what, well, we just do that first, right? Negative seven times three i times two. If you want, there's no harm in that. So negative twenty one i hat minus fourteen j hat cross four i hat minus five k hat. I mean, you could have done the cross multiplication first and then multiplied by negative seven. Oh yeah, what about the same? But you don't just you don't just straight multiply them, right? You you do it like a, when you multiply vectors. Well, this is vector multiplication. Mm -hmm. uh, this, you can, there are a couple ways of doing it. You could just FOIL, but order matters. So I got negative 21 times 4, which is negative 84, I hat cross I hat, uh, plus 105, I hat cross K hat, and then inner minus. 56 j hat cross i hat plus 70 j hat cross k hat. I think I got my signs right. Which of these is zero? The i cross the i, so yeah. the first one. Also can set up a major C. Yep. Oh. Uh, I cross K is what sort negative of? J. Yeah, so I J A positive going that way, negative going that way. So I cross K, I'm going back, so that's negative J. So negative 105 J hat. And then J cross I is negative K, so plus. 56 k hat and then j cross k I'm going to the right plus the 70 i hat oh, and then don't forget the units so you multiply each one of them yep. so 21 times 4 21 times 5 14 times 4 14 then obviously you keep the i k but i never i didn't know what you were doing with the j k i thought it was I, i'm just kidding so if i got this right 
So if you're, let's say you're doing K and J, the next one over is the one you want. And then if you're going in the positive direction, you go this way. So if we're doing um, I cross J in the positive direction, it will be K? Yes. And if we're doing, and then the, the signs are the same. So if we get J and a negative K and a negative J, and we get I hat, it's negative I hat? Uh, wait, negative, so if you go negative K hat cross negative J hat? Or one of them being positive. If yeah. one's positive, then we have the same. K point. cross J is negative I. Right, because. Yeah, this is that, J and K going to the left. Uh, and then that negative would cancel it out, so it would be positive I hat. Or, I hat, J hat, K hat. K hat cross negative J hat, so K hat's in that direction. Negative J hat is down, so K hat cross negative J hat is I hat. Okay, okay. Is there a reason why you did them out of order? Uh, I did this times that, this times that, and then this times this, this times that. So I mean, I got the bottom line, it's J, K, and then I. Oh, oh, oh just. That was the first one I did. That oh, was the okay. next one. That was the next okay. one. I did it with the major C. I got the same grade. Okay, now. You know, if you know how to do determinants, go for it. I, probably, if I were doing this uh, on my own, I would have done a determinant. Would you say that it would have been beneficial to take like linear algebra before this class? I don't think so. No. Anyone in here had linear algebra before this? Do you think it benefited you? Um, I mean, you do like determinants, Kramer's rule, and those sort of things, like matrices in general, pretty early on. Okay. But like after that, it's you're mostly using like differentials and those sort of things, which really don't apply to this class. I'm not gonna lie, even Cal three covers determinants. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. A little bit, yeah. And I had to learn it on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Those math games, they were vicious back in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have the scars? <laughs> All right, so any other questions on this problem 2A? So you can just use the stem gun method. 